Hello. Well, I'm now talking to Prashant Gulati, who's the CEO of SDverse, and I guess that means software defined verse or vehicle verse, but yeah. universe. But uh, uh, Prashant, hello. Hi. Uh, thank you, Nitin, for having me. Uh, good. Well. Well, I mean, the whole world is talking about, well, the automotive world is talking about software-defined vehicles, and you seem to be in a position to want to uh, enable that to uh, take off. So tell me what you do, and you're a relatively new company, so tell me just about your backers as well. Yeah. So um, uh, we are a platform funded and founded by um, General Motors, Magna, and Wipro. Um, uh, the company the market is, is an automotive software marketplace, so we help automotive companies like OEMs, like tier ones, find software providers, yeah? There is, uh, I think, like you mentioned, the world is transitioning towards software-defined vehicles, right? And the way the industry is built today, the it's th there's a lot of um, efficiency in buying boxes of hardware, right? Like cars are hardware-driven, and the supply chains have perfected that. But as we move from these, um, uh, call it domain control hardware type uh, devices to more software defined. I think supply chains are not necessarily, or engineering teams are not very equipped. They don't have the tools to be able to you know, make the right decisions, build the right exactly kind of software. So that's the problem we are solving, right? So if I had to kind of oversimplify it, think of it like um, we, are, we are building the Google for automotive software, right? And then we bring companies together, they can they can connect on the platform, they can talk to each other on the platform, they can ask questions, discover software, and then ultimately buy it offline. Yeah. Now, what you're, what you're not doing is providing uh, like an app store type place where people can then just build their apps and put them on there. I think what you're trying to do is a marketplace to connect people who offer these services then talk to each other. Exactly so it's a, more of an introductory service rather than actual a technological base from which then like APIs and all that. Yeah, you're exactly right. We are... Uh, we are a discovery platform. We are also there is initial communication that can happen on the platform, but I think you know software is not just download and plug and play. So we can't and do not do um, like an app store where you can just download apps for the phone and uh, you know that works. And why would they come to you? I mean, I'm just wondering what the proposition was. Why would they come to you rather than just trying to find on Google, yeah. you know, where who's who's doing what? Uh, yeah. What? Why would they pay you a subscription to do that? Yeah. So the the this your question kind of goes back to the origins of the marketplace, right? So when General Motors saw and you know th that the whole world is going to software-defined vehicles, and their strategy was, you know, let's do something in that space. Like, how are we going to be the leaders in that space? Uh, what's happening in the industry, as you've seen, is a lot of OEMs are insourcing everything, right? Um, you've seen uh, Ford do it, VW do it, you know, for a lot of strategic reasons. I think our view at SDVerse is that there is uh, plenty of, uh, there's talent, IP, software that exists in the industry. The issue is discoverability, right? And the mechanism for discovery today, like you mentioned, is Google searches or calling your suppliers, right? Which is not a very efficient mechanism. So you call, you get the same boxes back, right? Or you, um, it, it, it takes time to get all that information, consolidate all that information, work with your supply chain, um, who will issue RFQs and get more information. We are, we are helping you make that process very efficient, right? So um, instead of doing all of this, now all you have to do is just log in into SDverse, be able to search for, let's say if you're looking for, if you're an OEM looking for automated um, emergency braking solution on a certain SOC, yeah? You'll be able to log in into the system, say this through natural language or type in a query or make some clicks. We'll show you the few suppliers that provide this on different um, platforms, and you'll be able to compare and then reach out to those suppliers. Like if, in, if, the, if you're interested in an OTA solution, you're interested in uh, cybersecurity, right? You can log into the platform and search for all of this. So, which is why I said, I mean, just think of it like Google for automotive software. Yeah. Great. So uh, you're, you're relatively new. I think it was just a few months, or uh, I, I, yeah, we were. We, we were founded on uh, March 5th, is when we made the public announcement. Mm -hmm. We are not only GM, Magna, Wipro, they've funded the company, right? But th they realize this is an industry problem. So even though the initial capital comes from them, they, this is an invitation to all partners in the industry to come join SDVerse. Mm -hmm. We are already, we have, along with the three companies I mentioned, we are joined by other industry leaders like uh, Ampere from uh, the Renault Group, 
We are we have FEV, Forvia, Echelmando, TT Tech Auto, NXP Semiconductors, and Valeo also as uh, launch partners with us. Yeah. And when is the launch, or is it already out there? I mean, what what can we expect? So, so we are working. I am my team is working hard to develop the platform that we promised uh, a public launch in September. So uh, all of the ten companies that we have partners um, are getting. Uh, early access starting a month or a month and a half from now, uh, but it's going to be available for for more general availability starting September. So is that, does that mean we'll get an acceleration in software defined vehicles coming to reality? That, that exactly is the mission of the company, to help the industry advance towards SDVs because, I mean, you know we've been talking about software defined vehicles for 20 years now and definitely for the last 10, right? Yeah. Uh, but the path to that has, you know, there are a lot of standards and open source, and, and but there was this this um, the missing piece was commercialization and we are solving for that. Well, Prashant, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, Nathan.